A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Remember how for forty years now the Lord your God has directed all your journeying in the desert, so as to test you by affliction and find out whether or not it was your intention to keep his commandments. He therefore let you be afflicted with hunger and then fed you with manna, a food unknown to you and your fathers, in order to show you that not by bread alone does one live, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of the Lord. Do not forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery, who guided you through the vast and terrible desert with its seraph serpents and scorpions, its parched and waterless ground, who brought forth water for you from the flinty rock and fed you in the desert with manna, a food unknown to your fathers. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has granted peace in your borders. With the best of wheat he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth. Swiftly runs his word. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one, we, though many, are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Gospel of John. Jesus said to the Jewish crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. This Sunday is the Feast of Corpus Christi, which is Latin for the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Each week at Mass, we eat the body of Christ as the Eucharist. But when you think about it, it seems a little weird to eat the person you love. It makes Catholics seem like vampires. Why is eating the body and blood of Jesus so important? St. Paul explains why in his letter to the Corinthians. The cup of blessing that we bless and the bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Jesus isn't just a cool guy that we read about and admire. Jesus is God and he wants us to be a part of his love. He asks us to participate in his body and blood. Then, in the Gospel of John, Jesus talks to the crowds. He sounds crazy, saying that he is living bread from heaven that can make people live forever if they eat his flesh. The crowd got really upset and thought this was crazy and gross. Jewish people have strict rules about eating meat and eating a person. 
two, to understand Jesus' words, we have to go back to the Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve ate from the tree that God told them not to eat from. But God's life is a gift that we participate in. He wants us to choose to have his life inside of us instead of trying to steal it. In the first reading, we hear that the Israelites were stuck in the desert with nothing to eat. God sent manna down from heaven. We hear, not by bread alone does one live, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of the Lord. God's word is powerful. In the beginning, the word of God created the world. So Jesus undoes the bad meal of Eden through his words. He is the manna that God sends from heaven. Jesus offers the bread and wine and his words turn them into his body and blood. When you receive the body of Christ in the Eucharist, that is actually Jesus himself. The Eucharist is Jesus, even though it does not look like him. This is how he wants us to share and participate in God's love. Jesus wants to feed us with his own life, in his own body and blood. We just have to say, yes. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also support this channel on Patreon, an online membership platform using the link in the description. Thanks for watching.